Good morning, good morning. I am still in my loungewear. I'm very comfortable. I love my loungewear. I love being comfortable. Let's talk keto, okay? I just read something. Oh my God. Keto, the keto diet causes stinky crotch. Ah, yuck. Oh my God. You know, you know how when you go into the ladies room I'm talking ladies. I'm sure men's crotch gets stinky too because you know what? You're so freaking acid that it messes up your balance and you grow freaking bacteria. Ugh. Anyhow, let me see. I go into the bathroom, I open a stall door, and the stink coming out of that stall makes me think, oh my God, woman, go get some monostat. It's over the counter. You do not have to walk around with that nasty, stinky, vaginal discharge and you know or you shit sometimes it's so stinky you're thinking they need some antibiotics i'm telling you now if i go into the bathroom and pull down my pants and sit down and i smell something funky oh no first i need to take a shower because there, there's something wrong if i if i'm not bathing enough to keep that thing from stinking there's a real problem. Ugh. Okay, so you know why it causes stinky crotch? Let me tell you what. You're eat okay, I'm sure everybody's heard about following the alkaline diet. And I think there's a lot of validity to that. I don't care whether you want to do it or not. I just I really don't give a shit. But when your pH is off. If your body is fighting to maintain the proper pH, you're doing something freaking wrong. Let me tell you, if I go to the ER and draw blood on somebody and the pH is low or they are in ketoacidosis, that means a trip to the fucking ICU. That does not mean, hey, you're keto. Of course, most ketoacidosis is from uh, diabetics that their sugar has gone out of control. But that just goes to show you that's something that's wrong. That's fucking wrong. So, yeah. Why would, why would I deliberately put my body into this? Uh, all that is is the Atkins diet renamed. Oh, oh, look who's here. It's Dominic. Dapper. Hello, my darling Dominic. <laughs> Anyhow. Uh, another thing, the Atkins diet or keto diet or whatever the fuck you want to call it is all about eating meat and cheese. I mean, I looked at some of those recipes, you know, if, if I wasn't, if I was still on my cheese thing where I ate cheese and meat and all that, I would, um, I would think, oh God, that looks good. It's, it's cauliflower, which... I mean, cauliflower is white. It does, I don't even think it has that many vitamins and stuff, although I do love roasted cauliflower, and I made a really good freaking roasted cauliflower soup. But it's drowning in cheese. Um, so you say you like cheese. Yeah, I always I always like cheese, too. Um, I like meat, like cheese. Um, a keto diet is not sustainable for life as far as I'm concerned. Uh, you lose a massive amount of water at first. Um, you're, uh, oh, and for me, somebody that suffers from constipation, oh my God, I'd probably eat a block of cheese and see how that stops you up. Yeah, yeah. I, if I don't eat enough fiber, even when I do eat a lot of fiber, I still get constipated. I still have to use mineral oil, occasionally a stool softener. But if all I ate was low fiber stuff, damn, every time I sat on the pot, I'd get up and look and say, what the hell? Looks like a goat was sitting on the toilet. A goat or a rabbit or something, you know? Little bitty pellets that you can't push out. No, no, that is not for me. Um, let me go on to something else. High meat diet is associated with colon cancer, okay? My grandfather died of colon cancer. My daughter died of colon cancer. Um, my mom died of brain cancer. Um, my grandma died of pancreatic cancer. My brother was treated for thyroid cancer. 
why in the hell am I going to eat a diet that's going to increase my risks for getting cancer? And, you know, I may get it anyhow because, you know what, it's I've got a pretty seriously fucked up family history where that goes. But um, doing something that's going to make it worse, that'd be really fucking stupid. Um, so anyhow, you get this, go on this diet, it gives you bad breath, it gives you stinky crotch, stinky sweat. Let me tell you, a man that's clean and he's out working or he's Giant working on you and sweating, stick. that's not bad. That's just like that mm, musky man smell. Yeah. But stinky? Oh, hell no. No, 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 no. So I know men get the stinky crotch thing too when they go on the keto diet. Oh, oh, here, it's, yeah, I gotta change my tune here. Talk. There, um, now I am appropriately attired. Uh, Dominic has covered my hair. Anyhow, stick. I will stick with my healthy eating, stick. something that I can do for the rest of my life. Um, and sure, I backslide, I backslid last week. Um, but the bad thing that I did was, was really, um, the cherry pie, yeah, because sugar's the devil. Uh, sugar really is the devil. I'll, I'll do that on another video. Anyhow, have a great day. Kim's Pearl's here. I'm living life.